Hello and welcome back to The Sims. Now in the last episode it was Rocco's unofficial birthday party and I bought him an alchemical set. Now, he then since tried to set fire to my entire house, as you can see there's still a bit of fire damage on the floor there. But it is healing up quite nicely, but anyway. We bought him another one and he's still experimenting, but he's not very happy. Oh my god, he's nearly, he's gonna die, okay. Oh, and the sink's pissing everywhere, it's always pissing everywhere, I need to get better sinks. Anyway, so use the toilet and be happy. Uh, are we tired? We're all tired, Bella's not tired, there you go. So, I mean, because who's in his bed? Mr. Bean's in his, no, Mr. Bean, bad Mr. Bean. You don't even need to sleep anyway. Shoo, get out. Get out of it. Oh yes, and before I forget, let's check up on our lady. She is still alive. She is currently calling the police. Uh, but I, I'm afraid you won't get any reception, or the police will be unable to help you, I'm afraid. For these fences are unkillable, you see. <laughs> Rock School for Rocker starts in about an hour. That's not very good, because... Oh dear, he is... Oh, not doing very well, is he? Uh, hang on, where is he? Don't use that bed. No, 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 no. no. Use your own bed. There you go. Now, trust me, it's much nicer. Go, bed, now. Come on, bed, go. So he'll be a bit late for school, and let me guess, I didn't do his homework. No, I did his homework. Oh, fantastic, okay. And whilst on the subject of the alchemical wizard debt thing, I received a fantastic comment from Iman Zulkifli. Now, this is quite a big comment, but trust me, it's definitely, it's definitely worth it. So, as Rocco begins experimenting with a new cure for smallpox, he thinks to himself, ah, I'll add some Fozone. It'll spice the cure up. He then begins to put droplets of Fozone into his new potion, portion by portion. However, young Rocco began to feel impatient with the Fozone sample and began to douse the cure with a whole beaker of the stuff. A faint cracker was heard from young Rocco, then an almighty fire engulfed the new alchemy set, of which he acquired as a birthday gift. But our young protagonist faced a danger with might and then ran away. This is one of many tales of our Rocco. That was fantastic. Thank you for that comment. That made me laugh quite a lot. And are they done? They, hey, they've just finished. So they should be all happy. And, okay, he's tired, so you can go off to bed. You go to bed, good sir. Fantastic. And she needs to pee, so you pee, and then you may mop that up as a reward. There you go. Uh, Rocco should be at school quite a long time ago. He is... Look, I mean, I imagine... Can he be expelled for school? Uh, not going to school? That could be a thing. I mean, you can eat. I mean, you're okay. Yeah, you go to school. That's fine. You'll be just fine. And also, I received a comment from, I believe it's Francisco. I don't have the comment in front of me, so apologies if it's uh, if it's not. But somebody wanted me to make Mr. Bean a musician and give him his own little studio. And I quite like that idea because, I mean, it'll be he'll be able to practice here and it'll be a lot more in interactive for him. So, instead of just being my slave, you may now get out of the game station. I will force you to play music. Now, there is a piano upstairs, and I believe... Let's turn that off. Okay. I want him to practice the piano. I want to become a master pianist. So you practice doing that. I need to... Ugh, I can't grab these. I need to... Where's Daenerys? Now you're good in all things. Okay, you clean up everything for me. Fantastic. Ooh, it doesn't actually sound too bad. It's the whole do re mi so. Th so it's the whole do re mi sort of thing. It's okay. He is playing in his pants. I mean, although he's he has got one hell of a view. Look at this view. The the neighbors must be so damn jealous. Oh, also, I received a comment. Again, it's not up in front of me, so I apologize. But I received a comment to say upgrade my trash cans because apparently there's a futuristic trash can that gives me money. That sounds amazing. So we have to do this. So, bins. I, I, oh, that looks good. There you go. The Nano Can Touchless Trash Can. It's 1200 bucks. The next generation of trash disposal. This hand free bin, replete with smart tech and odor filters, converts organic waste into fuel, rendering the entire unit self sufficient. We need some of these in our lives. Now, they are 1200 bucks, and I'm a bit low on money. So, we'll put, we'll put two in the house, I think. Let's put one here. Let's replace this old crummy bin. Oh, let me just, whoop, there you go. Get out of it, bin. Sell you. See, that bin was only 28 bucks. This is 1,200 grand. So, they're definitely going to be useful. Uh, we'll put one outside as well. We'll put one in the back garden. There we go. Fantastic. We'll keep this one here for now. No, we won't. We'll put it in my inventory. There we go. So, we've got two of these self-sufficient self awesome bins. Okay, and Daenerys is cleaning up. Fantastic. So, this, this will generate me money. I mean, if anything, you shouldn't put them in there. You should put them in there. Surely. Is that a thing? 
We'll see. Is there something broken? There is something broken. Okay. Daenerys. I need you to repair this for me. Please don't get electrocuted. But I want you to make a tr pile of trash. And I want you to throw it in there for me. And there's a triceratops down here. What are you doing down here? You don't belong down here. You belong up here. There you go. Fantastic. And I'm apparently not at work. I thought I was going to work. But apparently, no. I am cripplingly late for work. Okay. I mean, I'm doing good. Um, and I've reached level 4 charisma. That's fantastic. But I still need... I, th I need three more friends. Hold the phone. How many people live in my house currently? Mr. Bean? Daenerys? Three, four... I, I think I can get four out of friends. Four out of five friends guaranteed. This is good news. So I might even get a promotion. Look, I know I'm late for work, but I'm going to work right now. Please don't fire me. Oh. Yes, you ate the mouldy chips. Good. Now put it away for me. Oh. Also... Now you're finished with that air as a pile of rubbish. Let's have a look. Scavenge for parts. And then throw everything away. And with any luck, I should get money. And uh, how is Tyler? Tyler is very uncomfortable. Good. With any luck, you will soon be dead. <laughs> yes, you slowly rot away for me. Fantastic. Also, at some point in this episode, I intend to invite the weird man lady back around. And also... Uh, go visit David Tennant, because I imagine his house... We haven't actually seen his house yet. He lives in the swanky modern-day house that looks just fantastic, so we're going to do that. Also, a couple of you have commented and said that one day you would like me to move into a big mansion and all live together, so I will... That is currently my end goal, is just to buy a big plot of land and just go nuts, really. But I need a lot of money for that. And I'm currently running out very swiftly. And Rocco is back from school... But his work is merely satisfactory. We will change this in the end. Although, in fairness, I didn't send him, send him off to school in the best of situations. I mean, he did almost catch fire the day before. So he's allowed to not do that well this time around. But anyway, he has a shower that he can go to sleep. And then he must do his homework. And then... So what do you have to do? He has to get two skills to level four. And attend school while energized. We can do that. No problem. Then he can become a grade B student. And then, at some point, he may become a grade A student. Oh, and Mr. Bean has finally stopped playing piano, and he is about to piss his pants. Okay, well, you you do that to your heart's content. Then you may go down and grab a bite to eat. Hang on. Oh. So, uh, assuming she's scavenged for parts, can I throw this away now? Hey, 50 bucks? Oh, my God. Okay, whoever commented that, thank you, sir. That Oh, these bins are fantastic. Thank you very much. And you are still not dressed. Ah, okay, so that's good, though. So it, it glows green and just gives me money. I, I Yeah, I'm happy with that. Fantastic. Cannot complain. So if I chuck dishes in there as well, will it do the same thing? Oh, come on. The one time I don't have any dishes to try this. Screw you. Oh, no. You just broke my computer. Oh, you God damn it, fun. Well, you have to fix it because I haven't got 700 bucks to spare at the moment. I'm awaiting my next bill, and I have a feeling it's going to be really, really fucking expensive. But anyway, so he's doing that. How is Rocco doing? <laughs> Rocco's doing okay on sleep, so you may get out of bed and finally have a shower. Because I may or may not have forgot to, so there you go. You take a thoughtful shower, and then you may do your homework, and then let's go visit David Tennant. Why not? Are you are you blowing yourself up, or are you doing quite well? She's actually repairing it, I think. I mean, I wouldn't jab a screwdriver into a motherboard, or whatever the hell that's supposed to be. But, I mean, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Are you finished? Are you just daydreaming now? Okay, well, if I throw this into here... Another 50 bucks! <gasps> oh, my God, I get 50 bucks an item. Okay, you need to make me so much... So many plates. Oh, here we go. I don't even want to scavenge for parts this time. 50 bucks! <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I love that bin. Thank you again, sir. Or madam. I can't remember who posted the comment. But anyway, thank you. And we are finally both home for work. Oh, we can all go visit David Tennant. This is good news. Okay, well, let me just get them back up to fighting fitness. So, you go to sleep. No, 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 no. Don't clean up. No, no, cancel. Play that order. Don't clean up. No, don't wash the dishes. Don't you do it. No, you just wasted me 50 bucks. Screw you. Yeah, ah, damn it. Fine. Fine. That's okay. I really should remove these sinks, shouldn't I? If the bin... I mean, the bin is... I, I take it it just completely eats whatever I have. And I'd never need to fill it up again. So, okay, when you finish that, for the love of God, don't clean up. And what are you doing? You're going to chat with Tyler. How is she doing? Oh, oh she's starting to smell. 
<laughs> oh. Mm, yes, what is that weird oh, smell, Daenerys? Hmm. Yes, it's our it's our strange house guest here. Who is somehow staying alive. Nargi. How are you staying alive? <sighs> oh, you perplex me. Oh my god, what the hell happened to my camera? What the blazes? Okay. That was bizarre. Okay, here we go. Now put the plate down. Good. Now I may throw the plate away. Fantastic. Thanking you. That's another 50 bucks. I'll be rich before I know it. It's fantastic. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought they were about to go and have sex yet again. Okay, that's fine. Wait, are they? They're not, are they? Oh, they're going to chat. Okay, I was about to say. Where the hell is she going? She's. Where the hell is she going? Oh, she's going to chat with Rocco, but Rocco's going to bed. And he's going under the weird downstairs bed. Don't disturb him. No, 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 no. Don't chat with Rocco. And don't chat with Bella. Let her eat and watch her son creepily in the corner, sleeping. Why are you here? You should probably let him sleep. You know, I'd, I'd go, just go back downstairs. Let him sleep. Have, let him have nice dreams. Actually, are you done? You're not done. Who's okay? You're the janitor man. Although he's a bit tired. Hmm. What the hell are you, are you watching Mr... Why were you watching Mr. Bean sleep? Bella's, good, Bella, Bella's being a bit creepy today, isn't she? What are you doing? And you're going to chat with me. Okay, you go ahead and chat away to your heart's content. It is Friday, so that means Rocco no longer has school in the morning. Wait, what? Class in six hours? Oh, it's Friday. Oh, it's early in Friday morning. Okay, I read the time wrong. My apologies. So, okay, we're going to let him go to school first, and then we'll go visit David Turner. And we will, we will witness his house of awesomeness. And by that time, the ghost lady should be hopefully dead. And also, what skills should we get up to get him to level, f uh, get him to grade B at school? His social's nearly level four, so if he gets out of bed now, actually, he can talk to his mother for a bit and get his social up even so ever so much. Can't even talk today. I do apologise. There you go. Talk about school, do other sorts of good stuff. Also, if I sound different, I really don't feel well today, and that's well, that's hence why I sound different. Um, but anyway, I am. I must soldier on and talk about school. There you go. <laughs> Oh, and somebody broke the gaming machine again! <coughs> what is wrong with these people? Where the hell is Rocco going? And Oh, these sims. Oh, they're so weird and bizarre. They don't make any sense. So, you get your social to level four. Come on, buddy. Go and do it again. Social level four, fantastic, okay. So, if he gets his mental to level four as well, because that's the next highest. Now, how do I do mental? Isn't that... Mental's either... No, motor's on the thing. Mental. Oh. <laughs> Mental, ladies and gentlemen, is on this thing. So we're probably going to set the house on fire again by adding yet more foe zone to something. So you go ahead and do that. And then with any luck, we can make him a grade B student. And we need to somehow make him energised. Now, I can't remember how to make Sims energised, apart from giving them coffee. But then it, you can't give kids coffee. This is going to be interesting. Okay, and work for Bella and me doesn't start at all. Fantastic, okay. Now, whatever you do, for the love of God, do not set fire to my house. Come on, don't. Be careful with that foe zone. Okay, now last time when he poured into there, it caught fire. So as long as that doesn't happen again, I'll be just fine. But anyway, get your mental to level, th level four. And all will be well. I will make you the smartest kid in all the land. As for me, I am good on all things, so I believe it's finally time to start spamming some money again. So you make some large paintings. Bella's asleep, so she can stay asleep for a bit longer. He does not need to be asleep, so you get the hell out of bed. You do the toilet stuff and all that good stuff. Now, unfortunately, with having lots of sims, I do need to micromanage them a hell of a lot more. So apologies for that, but anyway, I'll edit through and try and keep you all, keep all the interesting bits. And is she still alive? She's still alive. How are you still alive? You've been here for like three days. You have you have to be close to death. And why are you still on your phone? Why haven't you called the police? <laughs> oh, these Sims are so ridiculous. Oh, and he's focused. That's your ideal mood for school. Oh, this is good news. Okay, well he needs to go to school, so you stop doing that and you go to school. For the love of God, don't spontaneously combust. Oh, he's doing it, isn't he? Don't set fire to anything, please. Just put it away. Come on. Finish up. Okay, he's left his experiments laying there on the table. I'm sure that's not safe remotely, but whatever. That's fine. 
I have a handy skill level, level, level 10, don't I? Ah, good, okay. So you go grab something to eat, and then I'll go and repair that. And did somebody make something? Or is that just more salad? Oh, it's more salad. Fantastic. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. And he's finally fixed. Oh, okay. And... 50 bucks. Phenomenal. Another 50 bucks. Fantastic. Okay, so Daenerys, you cook me... Some garden salad. I cooked eight pieces of garden salad and it's gone already. Blimey. Okay. You cook and have fun. He's at school, but when he returns, we'll go to David Tennant's house and we will raid his house. I don't quite know what's over there, but it looks pretty fantastic, so... Oh, apparently apparently this is revolting. She doesn't like it. Is it... Are you okay? What is wrong? She's, un she's angry from being unemployed? What? Okay, whatever you say. I mean, that stuff doesn't look as appealing as it usually does. She is still very new to cooking, so it's probably her fault. And when you're done, you can clean it up for me. Thank you. What the hell am I doing? I'm playing football? I didn't know that was a thing. Incredible sports. Oh, I remember now. Okay, fair enough. Whatever floats your boat. And we are finally good on all things. Bella's a bit hungry, but I'm assuming there's going to be food at some point. She's... Oh, hang on. She's going to have a rude introduction with Tyler. Oh, this is going to be good. Hello, bitch tits. How are you doing? Go on and do your rude introduction. Uh, oh, George, Did you not do George. rude introduction? Go, do it. I was looking forward to this. Come on. Yumba. Uh, oh, Damn, son. Things are getting catty. Boom. Everybody hates each other. Fantastic. Yeah, just be, just be a complete bitch, shall we? Just be mean. Yell at. You are nothing but scum. You insult me. Insult. Mock your outfit. You suck. You're the worst chef in history of history. Imply mother is a llama. <laughs> your mother is a llama. Yes. To hell with you. This is insane. <gasps> I can fight? No, I have no idea I can fight. We need some of our sims to fight each other. Oh my god. Okay, when we get there, one of our sims is going to have a fight with David Tennant. That's going to be a thing. I don't want to fight her because, again, she might become free. So we can't risk it on that one. But all of our sims need to have a fight. Oh my god. <gasps> Me and David Tennant. My sim and David Tennant. We don't see eye to eye. And we're going to kick the shit out of each other. <laughs> That's going to happen. How are you sounding? He sounds better. He's still missing a few notes, but he's getting there. That's good. And I'm just standing here w watching him. What are you doing? You're just going to sit there. Whatever you say. I think you should go make me some more money. So you go ahead and make me loads of money. Fantastic. She's eating... So everybody hates the salad that Daenerys made. <laughs> Taste it again for me. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's disgusting. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Daenerys is now banned from making salad because she is shit. Oh. <laughs> she's finally lost the will to live. She's she's only collapsed at the moment, but yes. Oh, she's awake again. Hello. <laughs> oh, okay. Her death should be very soon now, and this excites me greatly. It's the weekend. Rocco wraps up this week with school with a C in school. Is this really satisfactory? I mean, at the moment it's okay, but I do intend to get him better, so don't worry about that. But anyway, he goes to bed for a little bit, and then we will finally go to David Tennant's house. Okay, Rocco no longer needs to sleep, so everyone get out of bed. Okay, everybody, don't care what condition you're in, we are going to David Tennant's house. Travel with everybody. Not with Tyler, though. Hang on, but if I leave, will she die? Will she disappear? We're going to take the risk. We're going to go, all of us together, except for her. Okay, are we good? Yes, yeah, so we're all going to travel, the whole family. It's going to be a family outing. Uh, with any luck, Tyler will stay where she is and slowly die. And here we go. The tenant household. Now, this house looks spectacular. We had a brief look at one point. But, it, I mean, honestly, it looks so insane. It's unbelievable. It's not as big as the mansion, but it's still pretty damn impressive. 
Oh, and here we are. The entire family's here. All of us don't sound very happy. Why am I in my tuxedo? Oh, that's David Tennant. I was about to say, hello, David. <laughs> okay. Oh, Rocco's doing his homework. You don't have to do it right here, you know. I mean, if you... Can I knock on the door? Where is the door? Knock on door. There we go. So you can knock on the door. We're yet to be invited in. We could have asked him when he was walking up, but we didn't. Because we're stupid. But anyway, you go up here. Let's just have a quick look at this household. Oh, there's a door here as well. Good. Come on in. Yeah, buddy. Okay, well, Rocco can come inside. Oh, my God. This. Look at all this stuff. Oh, my God. They have entire studios of everything. They have an off. <gasps> this looks... I need this in my life. Look at this. They have a studio. They have a music room. That, that's what I intend to have for Mr. Bean. They have an art room. They have... Oh, it's so fantastic. But anyway, you go off somewhere and do your homework, buddy. I mean, take your pick. There's so many rooms in here. It's unbelievable. David Tennant's here. Now, which one of us is not going to get along? See, I'm a bit tired. Um, I don't know. Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean and him are going to have a comical fight. So, rude introduction. Uh, I mean, am I allowed to sleep in someone else's bed? I think I am, you know. I am! <gasps> Don't, I'm sorry, David, but I must borrow your bed. And they have shoe racks and everything. They have double magical mirror. Oh, I love this place so much. Swanky toilets, a kid's room, even though I don't even know if David Tennant has a child in this game. Is there another floor? There's no, okay. Oh, there is there? This is the third floor, I think. Oh, no, it's, okay, that's just the roof. That's fine. But, I mean, this place, look at this. They have wall mounted TVs in the bedrooms. Ah, oh, this is what I intend to get one day, but not today. Okay, here we go. I want you to fight each other. Okay. Let's be mean. Mock outfit. Look at your tuxedo. It's shit. Wang, Screw you. Soup, Insult. You are the worst doctor of all time. Yeah, like you ruined the series. Steve. Your mother is a llama. Of course. Oon, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to jeer at you as well. Good. I'm going to yell at you for no apparent reason because I am insane. Mr. Bean is nuts. Oh, we have to. Okay. Let's just get him even more riled up, shall we? Throw a drink in his face. Oh my god. Pelnev. Yabs. Brush off, why not? Don't just chat with David. No, 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 no. Angry. Just make him angry. Just make him hate you. Okay. Fight. It's time. It's finally time. We threw a drink at his face. Who's going to come out on top, ladies and gentlemen? I have five pounds on David Tennant. Tennant's going to win. Tennant's going to win. Come on. Who won? I think Mr. Bean won. I Hats off to the man. He certainly knows. Oh, he's about to vomit. Can I just, just for old time's sake, let's just, don't be romantic, no, no, no. I just want to throw a drink, declare enemy. <gasps> you and I are, we are arch nemesis. Nemesis. We are enemies. No, 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 we're not making friends. We are the worst of enemies. See, we are, we are really pissed off of each other. Declare enemies, come on. I might fight him again in a second just for the hell of it. I'd love to throw a drink at his face again, because that was fantastic. David Tennant and Mr. Bean have had it. They are now enemies. Oh. That's it. We have our first war. This is fantastic. Oh, they hate each other so much. Oh, this is nuts. I love it. Fight again. Come on. For all time's sake, yes. <laughs> Fight for my amusement. <laughs> <laughs> Where's all this smoke coming from? What's the meaning of this? Oh. oh, David Tennant came out on top that time. That's fantastic. There you go. We've had our first official fight. Mr. Bean is dazed. He's beaten up. Oh, he lost the fight. Ah. Orb. Nurtial. Okay. And how am I doing? I was, I was sleeping through all of this. Hey, I'm good now. There you go. Wake up. Norbs. Let's go find a toilet, shall we? Oh. In this ginormous, amazing house. Ah, oh, you guys, a toilet. Oh, they have a master grand clock thing. Oh, that's cool. 
Use that. They're having fun in there. God knows where Daenerys is. Where is Daenerys? She's upstairs in the bathroom. Fair enough. I mean, she's a bit tired as well. Let's go have a sleep. Let's go. You can go sleep in the kids' room. It may be a bit creepy, but screw it. You know. I know what I'm... <gasps> they have a castle doll set. That's insanely big. I need that in my life. Look, that is nuts. I love it. Ah, oh, fantastic. And they have school bags and all sorts. <gasps> I love this house to bits. Uh, we need a house like this in the future. This would be fantastic. Maybe the problem I found with these houses is that sometimes the rooms are a bit too small. And it just makes it look a bit too... Like it's, it looks like there's too much on the screen at once. But other than that, it's just fantastic. I love it. This place is amazing. Let's get a good thumbnail for YouTube, shall we? Let's just zoom out. Look at this place. It's just in... I, I love it to bits. Every detail has been accounted for. And they have, a, they have a telescope in the back as well. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. That's awesome. There you go. How am I doing? Where am I? He's... Oh, he, I think he went home. He's caring for himself at home. Okay. Well, he didn't really need to go to, uh, go home, but there you go. How's Rocco doing? Rocco is really, really hungry. Does David Tennant have any food anywhere? Is this a thing? He has a kitchen. And he has a futuristic fridge. <gasps> Ooh. Have a quick meal. Grab yourself some cereal. Steal some of David Tennant's favorite cereal. There you go. And then we shall head home. But again, this place is just amazing. And also, apologies if this episode wasn't as exciting as I'd usually like to make them. I am really not feeling well at the moment, so I will eventually have to stop. And I also like to record these a day in advance, but unfortunately I've been so busy lately, I, ha I have to record these on the day. So if this comes out later for some reason, that's why um, I do apologize again. But, but I've got a day off tomorrow, so I should be able to create loads of Sims videos and have a good stockpile and everything will be good. Because when I'm recording on the day, I feel a bit rushed and panicked. And I'm like, oh my god, I need to make an episode now. And But when it's a day in advance, I can relax and have a lot more fun. And it's, it's good. But anyway. I believe we've seen all we need to see of this house. It's pretty amazing. We will definitely come back here at some point. Um, I will... I mean, this looks like the perfect place to throw an amazing party. If I like got rid of this uh, fountain temporarily, I could make this into a giant dance floor. That could be good. But we'll see. I'll see the logistics of that at some point. But anyway, let us venture home and continue living our lives. And with any luck, me, Tyler's still alive, but I don't know how much longer.